Well, first of all, I want to come back to that uh, because it, it, it was uh, clearly uh, in the birth certificate of PEP and it is clearly uh, alive um, as we speak and as we use PEP. It has this dual key. First of all, it, is, it has a backstop function, if you will. Uh, it's intended and it has demonstrated its capacity to deal with short-term market stress. It has the capacity to address the risk of market fragmentation. And it is, of course, uh, an instrument uh, intended to improve the transmission of monetary policy. So that's key number one. Key number two is the stance function. And if you look carefully at documents, as I'm sure you do, you will note that there is a reference to the determination to address outlook uh, um, related or resulting, I can't remember the exact words, uh, from the pandemic uh, situation. So what we mean by addressing the outlook is clearly from central bank point of view, it's clearly the inflation. So the two uh, keys are active, uh, were embedded in the first place, as I said, in the birth certificate of the PEP. It is both about stance and it is about transmission. And clearly in this particular uh, moment, the stance is, is probably a bit more relevant than the uh, monetary policy transmission. But this arm and this function is critically important. And uh, it is certainly uh, one of the key attributes of PEP to be able to use these functions uh, with, with flexibility. So that was your second uh, point. And I just want to come back to this, this issue of flexibility because we have said very clearly that flexibility came in, 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 in a three-pronged approach, one across time, two across market segments, and three across jurisdic jurisdictions. So the flexibility that we've used um, across time is pretty obvious because we have massively front-loaded uh, our purchases to respond to the volatility, to the lack of liquidity. If you go back to March 26, which is when uh, PEP began uh, purchasing, uh, which, by the way, is a remarkable short period. It was decided on the 18th in the evening, and it was first to market on the 26th of March. Pretty good. So they front, we front-loaded purchases because at the time, if you remember, end of March, beginning of April, there was significant volatility, lack of liquidity in many market segments, and, and we had to step in very massively. And that had an impact. It's measurable and it is strong. So that's the first aspect of flexibility. The second flexibility was across market segments. If you look carefully at what we did with PEP is, you know, the, the, the crisis highlighted an unprecedented need of short-term liquidity by firms as the lockdown measures were beginning to dry income streams. So at the time, if you remember, issuance by corporates was virtually nil. Now, we have record issuance to date. And what have we done? From the total purchases that we've made, we have included a significant amount of corporate bonds. I don't have the exact number uh, with me, but it's, it's north of 30 uh, billion euros. I could double check for you if you want, but I'm sure you will be able to do that as well. So we did that, and we also decided to shift a large share of our purchases uh, to commercial paper. And we are seeing evidence of, of the success of the, of the measures because commercial paper rates have started to stabilize and issuance of longer tenors is rising as well. Uh, and that's only two aspects of flexibility. The third aspect of flexibility is across jurisdictions. Uh, as you know, ECB's capital key guides the benchmark uh, for our purchases of public sector securities. We assessed that there was a strong and urgent need to purchase with deviation from the benchmark guidance as we faced and still continue to face risks of fragmentation that threaten the smooth transmission of our monetary policy across the entire euro area. So we have used and we will continue to use the PEP to counter such risks of fragmentation. 
And I would like to reassure you that the guiding principle of flexibility will be maintained throughout the lifetime of, uh, of the PEP. Thank you.